our channel it's Sarah and Philippa from We Are Twin Set. Thanks again for logging back on. So today's video is Sarah, what are we doing? We thought we would talk to you about some of our favourite design purchases. So obviously you know we love the high street for clothes but we have a bit of a soft spot for designer would bags. Would you say you're more of a shoes or a bag kind of girl? I would say I'm 50-50 or Yeah you? totally, like we love our shoes and our bags. I just, I would never spend like a load of money on a jumper or a top but I would happily spend a big sum on a bag or shoe because I feel like you just get so much more cost per wear out of them. And as we always say it kind of freshens up a really old yeah. outfit. And it just gives it that kind of luxe edge. So obviously as you know we have got, we have invested over the years in quite a few designer bags and shoes but we wanted to share with you three of our best, I'm going to do bags and you're going to do shoes. So we're going to talk you through our three designer best purchases each why we love them, why we think they're great to spend money on, and just, you're, you've seen them time and time again in our videos, and just kind of why they're worth the investment really. And also just to point out, obviously, as our job being stylists and bloggers, you know, we do have a few designer purchases, that's kind of like our job to wear nice new things. So obviously it's not normal to yeah. have this amount that we do, but we also are really open to the fact that we save up birthday money, yeah. Christmas money, Hanukkah money, whatever kind of gifts we get, yeah. vouchers. Um, and we think really long and hard before yeah. we make a purchase. We've never kind of been those crazy people that have been like, oh, we're going to buy a yellow bag or anything yeah. like that. So we buy really classically. It's always considered, isn't it? Yeah, it's always considered. We buy really classically. We kind of do our research. So I would say I've never really made a bad bag purchase. No. Would you, would you say? Shoes, I think, more so. Like if I go to a sample set. Yeah. And like the, the amount of times we both have just like squeezed into like a yeah. size 36. But I think we've learned over time. <laughs> <laughs> we've learned um, over time that it's just not worth doing that but like you said I think our purchases are quite considered and we don't we actually always say we never buy that trend piece straight away and sometimes we almost feel like we're a bit late, late to the game yeah. but then we've really wanted them and we know we're going to wear them and we felt like they're missing in our wardrobes so we don't have for example 10 black bags we have a couple of black bags that serve like a day purpose and a night purpose that we've invested in, thought long and hard about, mm -hmm. and haven't wasted money on because it's a lot of money to waste, isn't Absolutely. it? On a designer purchase. And also we like to, you know, as you'll see from our options here, everything is kind of fits into that capsule wardrobe yeah. that I know that we always love to talk about, but it's those pieces that you can wear in the evening, you can wear to work, you can wear in the day, you can wear dressed up, dressed down, you can wear with anything. Yeah. So and that's how we dress. Exactly. That's how a purchase should be, kind of reflecting on that. So you, you're doing bags. bags. I'm going to do shoes. Should we start with a bag first? Start should with... we do bag, shoe, bag, shoe? Yeah. Okay, fine. You go first. All right, number one bag. Okay, so first bag is this Gucci velvet... Bucket bag. Bucket bag. I don't actually even know the name. I think it is a pink lining. The velvet bucket bag. Okay, so this was one of our. We often do these random purchases where one of us will see something online. We've looked at it for a while, and I feel like you were on maternity leave at the time. It was just. I think I was, or I just. It no, I was. But it was really unlike us because we bought it in a season that you couldn't wear it. Yes, yes. it was the summer. She so was this, we saw on this. Then, <laughs> we saw this online. And I have actually struggled in the past, haven't I, finding like that perfect black bag that is big enough for the day, for the night, like we said, for work. And I feel like I have the Gucci crossbody, which I love, but it just, and I did wear it loads and I still do. Which it, one? Oh, the, the black the one. Yeah. one, yeah. But it never really ticked all the boxes. And when we saw this on Netta Porter, I just felt like it ticked. I was very excited. I sent it to Philippa and we ordered it straight away. That it ticked all the boxes. And I think it's mainly due to the size. Mm -hmm. Bucket bags are actually so handy for fitting a lot of stuff in. I literally, and I do use it day and night, can fit phone, wallet, keys, lipstick, a baby toy, a nappy. So a would you wear bottle. this with Lenny as well as like work? Life? I would, yeah, I would. I, I would, but I still would have obviously like a canvas, like, you know, a baby bag with me as well. But I just, it's my, I would say my most used bag ever because I love that it's got this short handle. Yeah. So when I shoot, I tend to use 
or like if it's more dressy, I tend to use a short handle. Then it's got this lovely gold chain that goes cross body. Which actually, I know a lot of people ask, it doesn't hurt. Do no, it's really that lovely. does hurt, but it doesn't. And I just think the main thing is, is, is it's roomy, but doesn't look too bulky. Because sometimes with a bucket bag, if it's too big, it can be quite unflattering. It almost like smacks you as you walk along. Yeah. Whereas this just isn't. And then it's also got this gorgeous pink yeah. lining, yeah. which just gives it kind of a luxe edge. And funnily enough, I was a bit worried at first about the velvet. Why, with how well, wearable it is. Yeah, is it wearable, is it too smart? But I always wear it with like my me and M tracksuit bottoms or just really casual jeans and a jumper and it never feels too done. Would you say it's more like a winter bag than a summer bag because of the velvet? It's quite heavy, Yes, right? but then I'm still wearing it now yeah. and it's been lovely out. So I, feel, I guess city life. I yeah, and I think with the gold hardware, um, which is really gorgeous, kind of gives it a bit more of a springy feel. I feel like if it was silver, it would feel a bit heavier and yeah. more wintry. But yeah, so this is my first excellent investment black Gucci Which is obviously bag, still available. Which is still available and cost per wear is already free. <laughs> okay, so my first best designer shoe investment. I had to think long and hard about this. Go on. But I couldn't not mention these. I know that these are fairly new, so it's a bit weird to say they're my best investment. But we do have them in the grey and the black velvet from two, three years ago. And I have to say, since we bought these at the beginning of the year, we've worn them every shoot, haven't we? We've worn them a lot. They go with absolutely everything. And what I love about them, if you just wear like an oversized white tee or an oversized white shirt with really simple jeans and you whack these babies on, you just look like that, don't you? And don't you find two-tone gives something an edge? It's so chic. It's so, so chic. So when you would normally put on a black shoe, it's not an outfit, but you put these on and you've, you've got an amazing outfit. So this purchase was a real considered purchase yeah. by us both. We thought about it long and hard. These aren't new, they've been out A years. long time. <laughs> and when they first came out, it took us a while to get the grey pair and we decided to get the grey over so this colour. It was winter and it, they were the new colourway. Yeah. And we have worn them a lot. And we have, absolutely. But then we, 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 I don't know, I think we probably saw them on like, someone who ever saw them on like, we just need these and they're a great spring transitional yeah. piece as well. What I love about them, as I said before, we love our designer pieces that we can wear with so many different outfits. So I, as I said before, like a really crisp, really simple white shirt and jeans, but also like a ditzy print dress, also like black tailored trousers. Like the list Everything. goes on, you can literally, apart from like a pair of tracksuit bottoms, but maybe even if you wanted to rock that look, you, that, could. Yeah, you could. So yeah, we went in, we bought these in Selfridges. Um, we had some birthday money. We did a vlog on it actually. We, had, we both had some birthday money and vouchers to spend. And they actually had bought out a few different colorways. Like, there's like a metallic, there's gold, the tweedy there's one tweedy. Well. But we just thought, right, be clever here because they're not cheap. They're gonna be in our wardrobes for years and years to come. We need to go classic, and especially with Chanel. You can't get any more classic than And these. I think as well, we were really missing that kind of nudey colour in our wardrobes. Yeah. And I, I've now realised, like you said, how useful they are, because I just go to them, like going out for dinner on a Saturday night, oh, going to a work meeting, oh, and they're, they're so easy. comfortable, look at that hill. And even when it was quite cold outside, it didn't they, really bother, no, it was kind no. of okay. Yeah. So I had to show you guys these for my number one shoe investment because I think they are a really great investment. I know that we're gonna wear them for years to come. And obviously the high street do them so, so well. M&S have a great pair, Topshop, I think, um, I feel like H&M even yeah. as well, um, which we will of course link below because obviously we want you guys to get the look as well. And we do have the high street option on days where you know, we're running around and we don't want to crease them too much or things like that. So, um, yeah, number one for my shoe purchase. I've got one question for you. Go on. True to size, I would say so. Absolutely, yeah. size 38. Yeah, that's my size. Design bag, bag purchase number two is this. Now, this is a fairly new one. I got this when I had little Lenny. And I've got to tell you, it fits the world and this wife in, and it is an excellent, excellent bag. You have this as well. Had it, it got stolen, but I'm gonna get another yeah. one, exactly. <laughs> so I use it as my baby bag, so I can fit all my nappies, my extra bits and bobs, everything I need with Lenny, bottles, blah, blah, blah. But also, airport, beach bag. So when I went away in February, I just took this with me. Obviously, maybe like an evening what, bag. for the airport and then the for beach? For the airport and then the beach, because, yeah. 
Although it doesn't look so big, it surprisingly is big enough. It does come in yeah. in a larger size. Well, it's mentally large. You don't want it's the It's literally size. out here. And I thought I would have wanted that size and I tried it on. It's bigger than you. Yeah, I tried it on and it's so flappy yeah. and it's so big that actually I don't think you'd even be able to fill it with stuff. And it's lovely because it's really deep. Um, obviously, we've got it personalised because we love our personalisation and it comes with a lovely kind of pouch inside. So it's basically two bags in one. Isn't it? So I use this in the on evening holiday. on holiday. <laughs> and also I keep my uh, card holder in here, my lippy, things yes. like that. Because obviously with a big bag, things can get a bit lost in the bottom and you're like, I lost my keys. Can't find them. So that's really good. Do you know what I'm quite interested in about? Because obviously when you buy the Louis bag, you can have everything is so personalised. So obviously you can get... The yeah. colours, the set, like whichever colour you yeah. want. But I am intrigued as to that you've got the light internal. I went for black because I knew that it was just going to get so messy. Do you know what? I just liked it because it was bright and I just, I just preferred it. I don't know. Maybe it was the you've time. You've kept it really I've clean. I've kept it really clean. Are you proud? I am. <laughs> um, so yes, yeah, so you can choose the internal lining. Which, so I think there's red as well. Yeah. There's red, red black, black and beige. beige. I don't know. I just liked it classically. And then you can choose if you want to get the stripes done and your initials. Um, and I quite like the, the black and white because then you can wear black, white, grey, everything kind of goes with everything really nicely. And I've just got attached a little, this was a gift, a little Prada teddy bear on there, which is when I had Lenny, so that's really sweet. I suppose you can pull it to the sides if you want to make it a bit more intact, but and I wouldn't do that. What I would say... I always have it stuffed. In terms of like an investment, you can't get anything more classic than no. a Louis tote because... That will never ever date. Never. You will have that for as long as you live. Please God. And also, <laughs> I think what goes really, what's really nice is that as it gets older and it more used, it gets better because this kind of crisp beiginess gets a bit more worn, and I feel like I it gives it, it looks my, a bit more. Mine mine was so worn, and do you remember it was even like quite saggy as well? So hopefully, when I get my new one back, I'll just have to like bash it around a bit but no we've used this every single day since i've got it and like i said airport weekend and then you just don't suddenly realize how much stuff you need like a big bag is a really useful thing to have because often when we go to meetings and stuff we always carry a canvas bag yeah whereas actually you could just take a bigger bag and you don't need to take a canvas one i feel like there's a time and a place for a big shop yeah. like this but there's a lot of times and a lot of places yeah and it'll fit a laptop in yeah so there you go that's my investment bag number two Okay, so designer shoe purchase number two. How could I not mention these bad boys? I absolutely love these boots so much. I bought them last September, at the beginning of the new winter season. Sarah was on maternity leave. I, I, felt, I felt like I just needed something. You needed to, a replacement to me. <laughs> I, needed, I needed the cool factor. I needed just something, just, <laughs> do you know what I mean though? Like I needed something that would be like, pow, like I can do this by She myself. can do it on her own. And that's exactly, they really helped me get through the whole season. And let me tell you, I wanted them every time you wore them. <laughs> um, so yeah, I bought them in September. I literally wore them September, October, November, December, January, February, every single shoot, every single date night. They are so are they comfy? comfortable. Because look at that heel. It's not, you can't really see it. There we go. It's not too high. Yeah. But it gives the illusion of being quite high. Yes. So I went for the velvet. They come in um, painting. like a painting. I was about to say leather, but they don't. They come in a, like a black painting. They come in checks. That's why I, I was yeah. coming in an R-ing. Really? Do I go for the black velvet or do I go I for the check? I think you made the right decision. Because I was thinking... My, I know what I'm, I know how I was going to wear them with the uh, like a blazer jeans, a cami or a tee, and these. And then I was thinking most of my blazers are checked, so I didn't really want to wear yeah. checked boots and a checked blazer. I feel like I was messaging you about <laughs> it. You were probably like feeding Lenny, like don't care, fellas, just get on with it. <laughs> so yeah, I bought these on Netta Porter, and they're obviously stocked everywhere, but they're still available. We're really, we still keep thinking, do we invest in the flats or the courts? I know, and the white ones are so <sighs> nice. Maybe you could let us know your thoughts. Let us know if you think we should. I, do they come in the, um, you know, the flat sling bags in white? Because if they so. don't, I feel like that's what we need. Um, they were just, a re like, in terms of cost per wear, I definitely did get it back. I wore them so much, loved wearing them as well, and I always felt 
Cool, cool. And can I ask, are they tight on the ankle? Because that's that's what I don't love about some boots. What, like this bit? Yeah. Not particularly. Not like a sock boot. Okay, so, but they don't... You know when your jean meets your boots, it's not that awkward? Yeah. Um, I'm trying to think, because obviously I haven't worn them in a few months because the weather's been so warm. For me... It was perfect. It, was, it worked yeah. well for my jeans... And obviously, being, like, before being pregnant, I was wearing like my super skinny yeah. jeans that kind of just tucked in, or they nice. just, or like a raw hem that just kind of touched the top of them. A ditzy, like a nice dress. I wore them loads with tights. So nice. I really did live and love wearing them, and so I had to give them a mention. Your investment bag number three, best purchase is this red little Gucci. I'd probably call it a wallet on a chain. I think they do call yeah. it that. Wallet on a chain, which it's very hard to come by. I think it's back in stock. Yeah, it's back in stock. We, this was another one. We really need a red bag. We were looking, 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 looking. We were on, we were waiting for a shoot and we saw this on Farfetch and it's a good price for what it is. I think it's about 655, which is still obviously a lot of money, but it's way under the a thousand pound mark. So we saw it on Farfetch, it ticked all the boxes and we kind of bought it, bought there, it there, and there and there. But we knew that we wanted a red bag, we knew that we wanted it to be small, crossbody, and we'd done our research and it didn't exist until we saw this. Well, we, in our heads we did want the Chanel. But, but you know. let's add a few more zeros <laughs> on. So this one is really, really cute. This is the inside. So you can see it's got the kind of wallet-y things in there. It's got a zip and a mirror, which yeah, is so, genius. so handy. Do you ever do this with your lipstick? I, do you know what? I've never I should, done it. but I don't. I was just about to say um, I don't. But it is a great idea. If and you want you to can wear it cross body, long body, and also, which is really handy, is that that you can tuck the chain in. But also, do you know what I'm I just wearing. noticed? What? Like you can actually even take the chain oh. out. So like you can actually take the chain off and properly wear it as a clutch. I think that's really good when you can wear bags two different ways. Because then also it's it's a good yeah, investment. Okay, there we go. Um, and we also love this kind of perforated leather because sometimes when it's that really soft leather, it can scratch, especially when you wear it all the time. So this is this is a couple of years old now, mm. right? So it's really long lasting. It's also that perfect shade of red. So some reds like clarity, no, and that bright, 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 too bright red, no. This wear it with our monochrome, our jeans, ditzy dresses. I don't think it's anything it doesn't go with. I love the subtlety of that. Yeah. So actually, really some of the Gucci stuff is really kind of... Bold. In, yeah, really big and bold, whereas this is quite a chic way to do it. And I suppose as well, if you were travelling, you could use it as a purse type of thing. But it's... We've worn it on shoots, weekends, every single day, and it's definitely a good investment. And another one that we've just definitely kind of got our money back from investing in. It comes in black as well, yeah. which I think is more widely available than the red. Yeah. I don't know why, it just wasn't bought that well, much I guess in the UK. maybe everyone just wants the red off this. Yeah. Else. But it is available on Scents. Um, I saw it this week, so I'll link it below. Um, but yeah, I really feel red is a... It can seem strange to invest in a red bag, but for us, it's always that kind of pop of, pop, pop of colour <laughs> with our basic outfits and our monochrome that just kind of gives it that lift. So here she is. Okay, so my final shoe, best investment ever, had to finish on these. I know we talk about them so oh, much, much, but I how could I not yeah. mention these? Because they are, aren't they? The yeah. best investment we've ever made. And as you know, Sarah and I both share quite a few different styles and colourways. But when I was thinking about the yeah. best investment, most worn, you know, wear it with anything, it's got to be the black slingbacks. And I know a lot of you do ask us, if we could buy one pair yeah. of Gucci loafers, which would it be? And I, do you agree? Yeah, 100%. This stuff, so easy to wear. In terms of city life, just really great to have the slip-on style because transitional, like in terms of like wearing them in spring, summer, winter, autumn, they're kind of like my old go-to yeah. style. Go with everything, trackies, dresses, And would jeans. you say that you always feel done in them, but not yeah. too done? Yeah. So even if you're wearing them with your trackies, it's like, it's okay, I'm wearing trackies, I've got these on. And if you're going to a meeting, 
and you want to be kind of that smart casual, which is quite hard to nail, you, they just nail it. They're very effortless. Yeah. I think that's the word. Yeah. They just look super chic, but in a really effortless way, which is what we like. And when we say trackies, we don't mean literally like the Our trackies. Husbands, yeah, like, we mean great. like side stripe joggers, slightly ones, tailored yeah. fit, whack these on with a really simple tee, a denim jacket, a khaki jacket on top, and you are good to go. So since we bought these, I think the price has gone up a little yeah, that's bit. That's the only thing what I would say about the design of things. It's like you think long and hard about buying something, and those classic pieces, they got about 50 pounds a year. Yeah. Do you remember when we bought the Chloe thing. bag, those Chloe Drew bags, and it was that day they'd gone up by like 50 pounds. It was annoying. It's so true. But uh, what I would say to you is we do talk about them all the time. We wear them all the time. So if you are looking for a bit of inspiration, these are 100% our number one, well, in terms of this video, number three. Yeah. But they are my number one. I and we have say. got a styling video on how we styled them, which we'll kind Link. of put in the corner exactly. as well. Exactly. Um, so you can watch that. It's hard to pick three out of like the collection that we have. I know it's a bit sick. But, but then I think it was natural what you picked because if I was going to pick for you, I would have picked those. Would you? Would you have picked my yeah. bags? Yeah. Absolutely. So there you go. A little quick video and a bit of an impromptu one for yeah. us. But we thought it was a good insight. And also, so many people ask us what we should invest in, and you know, they like you said, they collected their birthday money. They want to make a wise investment. Yeah. So we wanted to share with you why we felt that these items were, were good investments, and hopefully, will inspire you to kind of take the plunge. The question is, what's next on our list? What is it? Something springy. Oh, well, I mean, like we do. Bag. Oh yeah, we like that. But also the Dior shopper. But are we ever going to get that? That's a lot of money. No, I don't think so. And also, I think it's a probably a one-hit wonder. It's a one-season. I like the print. Yeah, I love the print. But yeah, it's crazy money. So. I think for our dreams. In our dreams. Yeah. But yeah, we hope you enjoyed that. And um, as always, please like and subscribe to our channel so you can stay up to date with all of our content. But thank you for joining us always. And we'll see you next week, 7.30 on Sunday. Bye.